Hey, we cooking up today. This is what you're going to need if you want to learn how to cook rock. You're going to need you a Pyrex dish, a medium-sized one or a large one. You want your product inside the Pyrex dish and a little bit of water that looks like that. It looks creamy. It looks milky. You see that? How it looks creamy and milky. And then you want a little, you want a pot and you want a little bit of water. And you want this on high. Or six. I can turn that bitch on six. Six is good enough. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, we're going to turn that on high because it's so low right now. It'll cook up a lot faster. You'll burn your product if you cook it higher. But then it'll come out yellow. The slower you cook it, the better. It'll come out white. But yeah. The reason why people whip it and stir it when they whip it so it don't burn. That's the reason why they whip it. You can take a knife and you're just going to whip it. See, it's already forming. You just whip that shit. You don't want it to burn. This is just baking soda. This is just, an, it's just uh, basically what you do. Baking soda works. You can practice with baking soda. You ain't got to tear up your product and actually use the product. But basically, you'll take baking soda or Nisetol or shit like that. You know, whatever your cut is. You want to use baking soda or Nisetol because it locks up. It locks up in the pot. Then you take, say, a gram. If we was to cook up a gram... We would use a spoon. We would take a spoon like that. We, You would put your product in here with a little bit of baking soda and heat it up with the lighter under here with a little bit of water. And it will start. Okay, it's starting to bubble. See, it's starting to drop. Watch. The water is going to start cooking off. Not the water down there, the water in there. It's actually both going to start burning off. In both, watch. It looks like Alka Seltzer when you cook it up. Hear that Pyrex rattling? See it fogging up? Like Young Jeezy be talking about, but he don't be showing shit. You know? I really do this shit. I'm gonna turn it down to six. Because it's already heated up. I'm gonna zoom this in a little bit. You're going to see it start to bubble. That's not done yet. It's just bubbling because it's cooking off the water that you put in there. You don't put a lot of water. You just make it like a milky a milky substance. Like a milky solution. Yeah, it's bubbling on the outside, but it ain't bubbling in there yet because it ain't got hot yet. And you're also going to want a rag like this so you can grab your Pyrex and grab your pot and shit. Keep that over here. We're going to set it out on this plate. We're going to set it out on this plate to cool when we're done. It's probably already hardened up by now, but it ain't done yet. You want to cook it for at least five minutes. Five minutes on a cook and you want to put it in the microwave. Some people put in the microwave in the end. Some people don't. Ain't got to. All you got to do is let it dry. All you got to do is let that bitch dry. I'm not going to pause this video either. I'm going to do the whole video here. Because it only takes 10 minutes to whip this up. It only takes 10 minutes to get this going, and then you got to let it dry. It takes 24 hours to let it dry, or 48 hours. It will be dried out. So don't mess up your clumps while after you let them sit on the plate and cool. I'm teaching you how to make ready rock, a.k.a. government term crack. Uh, you can call it ready rock, though. In Chicago, when you buy rocks, this is what rock is. Yeah, but I'm in Illinois, so motherfucking, it's rock, baby. It's rock and roll. It's rock everywhere. <laughs> it's 
Do a rock or a blow, baby. All right, it's been five minutes since I've recorded now. It ain't ready yet because it ain't done yet. It's still got about five more minutes. Uh, it's got about two or three. It's almost ready. You can always tell by testing this, too. Look on the side. You can see it's like that. It ain't ready yet. That shit ain't hard yet. See how it's still kind of creamy? It ain't ready yet. That shit's still creamy. Ow, that's hot. Fuck. See how it's still kind of creamy? It ain't ready yet. Well, we're making a cookie. They call this cookies. They call it a cookie. It's going to come out. It's going to be a little bit over than an ounce. But where it's going to come out, it's going to be over than an ounce. I got 29 grams in there right now. See that big bubble? That's a big bubble right there on the left. You actually want to pop them bubbles too. This is what I do. I go around the sides just to make sure. Now you're going to end up scraping all that out. We've got about one more minute on here. Then we're done. Then we're going to go ahead and take it to the microwave and we're going to cook that for about two minutes in the microwave. We're going to give it a little extra time in the microwave because uh, your Pyrex dish will break in this bitch <laughs> if you cook it too long. See how I do the sides like that so you can, you can, you can chunk it out. You can get out your whole damn chunk instead of fucking breaking it out in little rocks. When you buy rocks in Illinois, that's what you're getting. You're getting little clumps of crack. You ain't getting cocaine, HGL out here. Unless you're paying a lot of money. Let's put it like that. Unless you're paying $100 a gram or $80 a gram. That's, that's pure cocaine. I'm going to teach you about it while I'm doing this video. If you got any questions, just comment in the uh, down in the comments below. You ain't got to subscribe. You ain't got to do none of that. You ain't got to, I ain't going to answer messages. But if you got a comment, you got a question, just comment. And don't make it stupid comments either because I'm not going to reply to that. This is how you really whip it. You ain't got to whip it up. Like I already did that in the beginning off of video. I whipped it up a little bit. So... All it does is make it uh, makes the makes it cook a little faster. That's all it does when you whip it up. The water inside actually dissipates and turns into steam and goes up, and the water in here actually dissipates and goes up in the air as well. So you're gonna come out with the same product in the end. That's done. Now what you're gonna do? You're gonna put that off to the side. You're gonna get your you're gonna get this. You're gonna go over the top of this like that. That's hot as fuck, so watch out. It's hot as hell. Set that down on some metal or something. Like I just did. I just set that down on metal. It's hot as hell. You'll burn your hands if you don't use a cloth. Trust me. Uh, 
Now we're gonna go in this microwave. You seeing everything right here, bro. Stupid ass microwave. Two minutes. We're gonna go two minutes in this bitch. If you can you can go more if you want or whatever time you want to do. This is gonna slow this is gonna fast this is gonna make it even faster. This is gonna cook it faster. It's gonna come out hard as hell. This is gonna dry it off. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna dry it off, baby. A lot faster. Alright. Now I'm gonna come back to you whenever I got the final product.